My name is Lenora, and here's my story. Do you want to know what I think happened? I'll tell you, but what matters the most are the effects and what worked. I think what happened is I felt abandoned by my birth mother. I was molested by someone my family trusted, and I was raped. So do you want to know what I did as a result? I chose unhealthy relationships. You know, the kind with power and control, violence, manipulation, and infidelity. I did drugs and drank alcohol. I don't even remember what I did first, but I do know it became addiction. I had my kids at 18, 20, 22, and 24 years old. Oh, did I mention I'm a high school dropout? My kids saw me drunk, high on coke, and meth. They had to be homeless with me more than once. They saw my pattern of unhealthy relationships. The state had to get involved to protect my kids. And by the way, Child Protective Services are not the enemy. Was it the drugs and the alcohol, or was it what happened? When my brother died in 1997 from alcohol poisoning, I knew I had to change. So what worked? Why am I alive after my struggles with addiction? I'm not a Jehovah's Witness, but this is what I learned from them. There are people who are non-judgmental, loving, encouraging, that are full of hope and wanted better for me. My family was so important to my healing, they kept me involved in traditional activities like fishing, picking berries, working in the smokehouse, song and dance of my father's people, and gathering from our land. I did so much crying and healing in the back pews of the Presbyterian Church. I truly felt loved, even if I didn't feel worthy yet. I learned I wasn't to blame. Negative messages from my past were replaced with positive action with help from counselors, training, and new friends. I learned to communicate better, and I learned that I have the power to change. Since then, I've talked to my kids, explained, cried, laughed, and begged for forgiveness in hopes that my new skills would impact them in a positive way and help change our pattern. Yeah, so I had some bad things happen to me that affected mine and my kids' lives, but I chose not to be a victim of those things forever because I know we deserved a better life.